Welcome to the Experience Annex podcast, episode number 33. Life is full of experiences and it's good you learn from the experience of others. The title of this episode is All You Need to Know About Content Marketing. In this mega episode, I show you step by step everything you need to know about content marketing including how to create evergreen content that attracts top clients how to position and promote your content to remain top of mind how to execute strategies that make your content the discoverable online and how to understand the techniques and strategies that convert site visitors into leads and leads into customers or to customers, sales, and profits. I'm Paul Luduk, the creator of Book Writing Clinic and Book Writers Club, where I show friends like you how to convert ideas into intellectual properties like books, blog posts, articles guides, infographics, white papers, checklists, cheat sheets, and so on. I'm also the creator of IBMC, Internet Business Mastery Course, where I show aspiring internet entrepreneurs how to succeed at scale online. Yes, I'm also the creator of OCNA, Online Course Creators Community for newbies and advanced beginners on Facebook with over 12,800 members from all over the world. Introduction. According to Neil Patel, the digital analytics expert and founder of Uber suggests content is king is a phrase Bill Gates coined in 1996 and based on evidence its import still rings true today. Content catapulted Brian Clark, Darren Rouse, and John Morrow, just to mention a three, the founders of Copy Blogger, Pro Blogger, and Smart Blogger, respectively, to global fame. Linda Ikeji, right in Nigeria, became a global internet sensation thanks to her blog, which is she started in 2006 in Lagos. The likes of Ariana Huffington and Ryan Fishkin are in a special class of their own thanks to their business models, which are a combination of SaaS, software as a service, and blogging. They rake in millions monthly. Alex Homozi is a globally known business mogul and a philanthropist thanks to his prodigious content. Alex started with his gym launch secrets in 2019, a book which hardly sold a thousand copies. Yet his 100 million offers and 100 million leads have sold hundreds of thousands of copies apiece. As a learner committed to helping newbies, I decided to create this mega episode to equip aspiring content writers and my students with the skills they need to unlock value for their clients through evergreen contents. Viewers and listeners will learn and master the techniques and the avalanche of strategies that convert site visitors into leads and leads to customers, sales, and profits, no matter the industry. I don't assume you have prior knowledge of content writing and marketing. However, found foundational knowledge on how online business and social media works will be an invaluable advantage. You can gain these foundational skills by joining Internet Business Mastery Course and Book Writing Clinic. Here are the objectives of this episode. Whether a freelancer, content creator in a corporate setting, or a course creator, 
this episode will enable you one learn how to create evergreen contents that attract top clients master how to position and promote your content to remain top of mind execute strategies that make your contents discoverable online understand the techniques and strategies that convert site visitors into leads and leads to customers sales and profits your, your key takeaways irrespective of your unique needs the key takeaways include the ability to mine the huge opportunities in content writing and marketing execute signature systems to create or for creating high quality contents that businesses need evolve fail proof techniques for identifying and bagging top clients the contents of this episode which i originally published as a guide include overview and definition of content marketing why content marketing stages forms types and formats of content setting content marketing goals content strategy content tactics organizing content in a corporate setting content marketing strategy tips for various types of content tangential content and guide for landing your first clients if you are an independent content writer episode one overview and definition overview content marketing refers to creating of online content such as articles videos and social media posts that are designed to generate new website traffic leads and customers for businesses according to allightmarketresearch.com the global content marketing market size was valued at $413.2 billion in 2022 and is projected to reach $2 trillion by the year 2032, growing at a, a compounded annual growth rate of 16.9% from 2023 to 2032. Research by Demand Metric reveals that content marketing generates three times more leads than traditional marketing while costing 62% less. According to Smart Blogger, content marketing is an incredibly valuable service that helps generate real revenue for businesses. It's one of the most effective and efficient ways to, for companies to generate leads and customers according to research from hubspot 55 percent of marketers said that blog content creation is their top inbound marketing priority accordingly the demand for content writers is exploding globally deep knowledge of content marketing positions serious content writers to master every evergreen content creation strategies that create impact, drive leads, sales, and profit for their clients, no matter the industry. Definition. Marketing is the act of telling a story to people who want to hear it. And marketing that are making that story so vivid and true that people who hear it want to tell others i mean other people that is according to seth godin wikipedia content marketing is a form of marketing focused on creating publishing and distributing content for a targeted audience online that's wikipedia according to uh, copy blogger content marketing shares informative content that is relevant interesting and useful to your target audience according to hubspot content marketing is the process of planning creating distributing sharing and publishing content to reach your target audience it can boost factors like brand awareness sales reach interactions and 
loyalty. According to Allied, Res Allied Marketing Research, content marketing is a dynamic and customer-driven strategy that leverages various digital assets such as texts, images, audios, and videos to captivate and retain well-defined audience. Content marketing, therefore, represents a shift away from intrusive advertising and instead focusing on delivering values to consumers through entertaining, educational, and or informational content. According to the Mar uh, Content Marketing Institute, content marketing is a strategic marketing approach focused on creating and distributing valuable, relevant, and consistent content to attract and retain a clearly defined audience and ultimately to drive profitable customer action. Digital marketing features content marketing. What is the difference between digital marketing and content marketing? Content marketing is a subset of digital marketing. According to Digital Marketer, Digital marketing is an all em is all embracing and includes content marketing. Here is a breakdown of the components of digital marketing: digital strategy, content marketing, paid traffic, email marketing, social media, search marketing, data and analytics, testing and optimization. A digital marketer must be what. David C. Baker calls a T-shaped expert with depth and breadth and with expertise in the following areas. One, content marketing. Two, email marketing. Three, data and an analytics. Four, paid media. Facebook ads, Google ads, Instagram ads, LinkedIn ads, and others. Search marketing, social media marketing, and e-commerce marketing are also parts of digital marketing. Let's move to chapter two, why content marketing? As per Wikipedia, the point is that your customers want a remarkable experience and your content marketing efforts can give that to them. But you have to understand the way that people buy and then create content for each stage, each stage. Copy Blocker points out that the core way of content, the core way content provides value to you as a business is through organic traffic. This is where people discover you on some kind of site platforms like Google and YouTube or a podcast directory and go to visit your content. Copy Blocker Efforts, I mean, further assess that on those platforms, you have to go to the, your audience. But with organic traffic, your audience comes to you. Organic traffic is a way of the problem, and they want to solve the problem. All three of those are critical ingredients for online sales, making content and marketing uniquely suited to growing your business. In a research on content marketing trend in 2016 in North America by the Content Marketing Institute and Marketing Pros, Marketing Professionals, content, I mean creating more engaging content emerged the top priority for B2C content creators at 73%. In the same survey, producing engaging content emerged as the top challenge for B2B content marketers as at 60%. Also, in the same survey, growing SEO and organic presence was the top priority at 66% when respondents were asked to name their company's top priorities regarding inbound marketing projects. Right now, customer service experience reports found that 89% of consumers stop doing business with a company 
after experiencing poor customer service. In a survey by Forbes magazine, 86% of correspondents said they would pay more for a better customer experience, but only 1% of customers felt that vendors consistently meet their expectations. Ben and Co. reported that a, a customer is four times more likely to buy from a competitor if the problem is service related versus price or product related while the facto research found that 35 percent of consumers would pay more for a better customer experience content marketing therefore has the goal to achieve the following for organis an organization and individuals one attract attention and generate leads two expand their customer base three generate or increase online sales for increased brand awareness and credibility. Engage an online community of users, educate your leads and prospects about the products and services you offer, boost conversions, build relationships between your customers and business that result in increased loyalty. Show your audience how your products and services solve their challenges and finally create a sense of community around your brand now let's dive into stages forms types and formats of content stages of content marketing content marketing experts identify three basic stages one awareness two consideration and three decision Forms of content, there are four basic forms, written word, that is text, audio, video, and images. Types of content, blogging, copywriting, newsletters, email, product reviews, podcasting, blogging, video sales letters, VSL, paid ad, and SEO. Content formats, Neil Patel of Uber Suggest lists the following content formats, how tos content curation, case studies, charts and graphs, ebooks, email newsletters, autoresponders, cartoons and illustrations, book summaries, tool reviews, giveaways, helpful application and tools, opinion posts, white papers, vlog, videos, templates, surveys, slash shares, resources, quotes, FAQs, frequently asked questions, Q&A sessions, webinars, guides, dictionary, day in the life of posts, infographics, interviews, lists, mind maps, memes, online game, quizzes, polls, podcasts, pinboards, photo collage, original research, press releases, photos, predictions, user-generated content, company news, and timelines. Let's dive into setting content marketing goals. According to HubSpot, setting content marketing goals should start with, with smart goals and their related KPIs, that is key performance indicators as shown below. Number one, brand awareness. Smart goal number one, brand awareness. Related KPI, site traffic, social media followers, subscription signups, mentions by customers and partners. Two, smart goal number two, revenue, daily sales and site traffic. Number three, conversions, conversion rates, shopping rates, abandon, uh, abandonment rates, Shop, shopping cart abandonment rates, associated shipping rates, trends, competitive price trends, brand loyalty, number four, returning customers, promoters, product reviews, referrals, number five, con customer engagement, likes, shares, follows, mentions, and backlinks, number six, rapport and trust, returning customers, promoters, followers, and mentions, number seven, strategic partners, new partnerships, mentions, and backlinks.
So set a budget. Many organizations underestimate the cost of producing content. Constructing a budget helps you think through the cost implication of your content initiatives. Think about the types of content you are creating and which channels you are marketing that content on. Neil Patel, the founder of Uber Suggest, recommends asking the following question to determine your budget. Number one, do you need to purchase any software or technology to create the content such as graphic design software like Adobe Photoshop, subscription to Canva, a camera to take high quality photos and videos? Two, do you need to hire any content marketers or designers such as artists, writers, editors, designers? Three, do you need to pay for ad space? Four, do you need to access, do you need access to specific tools or resources to enhance or measure your specific type of content? Five, accordingly, make note of how your responses impact your budget, whether that's an increase or decrease in what you may have already estimated. Tools, new companies, tools, apps, and software enter the market now and then, and what is a preferred tool today may be overtaken by another tomorrow. Here are some tools to help you with your content marketing strategy and analytics and results. HubSpot marketing analytics software, HubSpot social media management software, Notion, Shared Count, Sp uh, Sprout Social, Google Analytics, and many more. Let's now dive into content strategy. Your content strategy will evolve or will involve the following. Determine who your customer is. Figure out what information they need and choose how to say it. Now you need to step into their shoes and walk through their customer journey. What steps do they need to take to do business with you? What do they need to know before buying from you and in what order? This is a content roadmap, your first pieces of content. Create content that addresses each step of the customer journey. Update your current content. For example, if you are building a finance blog, your core content pillars might be personal finance tips and tricks, interviews and stories about people who have found financial freedom industry news and what it means for you and finance basics if you've already been publishing update your con your current content with these pillars in place you will want to make sure you are hitting three key content types which bullet calls the three e's engagement content evergreen content and events content 10 strategies to create great new content. Number one, define your content marketing goal. Two, research and understand your audience. Three, set up your blog if you don't have one already. Four, update your current content if you've already been publishing. Five, start building an email list and know how you are going to use it. Six, brainstorm ideas and do key, keyword research. Seven, decide which format of content you want to produce. Eight, outline which tactics you are going to experiment with. Nine, use social media to promote your content. And finally, ten, use paid ads to get extra eyes on your content. Creating your audience personas or in all right let's take that once again creating your audience personas or verticals 
or R bytes. So creating an audience persona enables you to create targeted content that resonates with the intended objects. Audience persona is also referred to as avatar or the dot. To create a properly targeted content, digital marketer recommends focusing on the following questions. How does your content not only fit in but get found and recognized by this person. Two, are they searching for it on Google or do they use community sites like Quora or Reddit to source answers and ideas? Three, are they heavy Facebook users or do, do they spend most of their time on apps like WhatsApp? Four, maybe they don't spend much time online at all and prefer attending in-person events, industry conferences, or group discussions. When creating a customer avatar, Jeff Hayden recommends you should be as descriptive and granular as possible, capturing as much personal details of the avatar as possible. Quoting Andre Quolex, Hayden said it should include personal details such as age, gender, marital status, number one, and age of children, location, quotes, occupation, job title, annual income, level of education, and others. Goals and values. Goals such as wants to increase in agency business, increase in capabilities of his team, scale of his business values, has committed to professional development, providing values or using white hat marketing principles, challenges and pain points. Challenges and pain points are one of those criteria that you should also investigate. Scaling, maybe his business, keeping his marketing skills sharp, and then pain points, fear of losing business and competitors, fear of is taking behind, I mean, talking behind uh, digital marketing scenes, objections and roles in purchase, objections to the sale. You have to figure out, think ahead. Does the training fit an existing service or need a uh, new service he can offer or he or she can offer to his clients? How long he or his team members will be out of pocket during the training role in the process uh, in the purchase process is it the decision maker does he buy marketing training to keep himself and his team sharp does he worry about the price point if he knows will he will he give him and his team an edge in the marketing places sources on information they get information from books magazines blogs and websites conferences gurus and others use long tail keywords high costs and competitive and competition versus low cost and risk low probability and versus high probability one word i mean one word phrases like shoes two to three word phrases like men's shoes and more descriptive phrases red Nike men's running shoes. Let's dive into content tactics. <laughs> As previously highlighted, there are three basic stages in the customer journey. And according to Neil Patel, each stage requires a different kind of content marketing. The stages include awareness, consideration, and decision. Content modeling. Quoting scoop.eu, Neil Patel shared that 3D content modeling involves mapping content to pen points, mapping appropriate content, and mapping to the buying cycle. In slightly more detail, mapping, map the content to the pen points, then use the right types of content for that problem. 
finally map the contents to the customer buying cycle of the people who have that problem outline you at which tactics you are going to experiment with this content marketing according to ryan robinson focuses and on utilizing their core competencies but here is how you can find those same kinds of opportunities within your own business number one observe your competitors what are they doing where are they publishing and how are they using email understand what your customers are already doing such relevant topics on google look at the 10 10 the top 10 results and see what is there how long is the content what images are being used what's consistent or stand out ask yourself what are you and your team really good at what are the patterns that your competition are falling into that you can disrupt are there people in your audience that are that you aren't serving what have you created that you are the most qualified to do prioritize 10 times opportunities prioritize 10 times opportunities another tactic that is crucial to content marketing is to always prioritize the highest impact content that is 10 times versus 10 percent use this three-step process brainstorm your ideas pick and rank your most promising 10 times opportunities prioritize and implement the best ideas another tactic that is crucial to content marketing is to always prioritize the highest impact content garrett moon calls this the 10 times versus the 10 percent test which opportunities could potentially provide 10 times the growth to your audience size traffic or subscribers versus just 10 percent awareness stage content how to write a blog post step one understand your audience step two start with a topic and working title number three write an intro and make it captivating number four organize your content step five write step six edit to read your post and fix your formatting business to business content marketing tactics b2b research by content marketing institute and marketing pros in 2016 indicated the top tactics used were social media content other than blogs 93 percent case studies 82 percent blogs 81 percent e-newsletters 81 percent in-person events 81 percent articles on your website 79 percent videos 79 percent illustration and photos 76 percent white papers 71 percent infographics 67 percent webinars and webcasts 66 percent online presentations 65 percent let's now dive into content marketing strategy since the aim of creating content is to create a customer the better we know our customers the more effective our content marketing strategy will end up being content marketing strategy involves three overlap overlapping processes creating content promoting content and converting leads to customers the process begins with attracting visitors gathering contact information interacting with target audience and submitting a proposal attract visitors through blog posts web content and articles gather contact information through e-newsletters ebooks and webinars more interaction 
phone calls, consultations, assessments, and request a proposal. Content marketing strategy. A content marketing strategy is a plan for building an audience by publishing, maintaining, and spreading frequent and consistent content that educates, entertains, or inspires to turn strangers into fans and fans into customers. According to Neil Patel, in a world with social media, endless internet space, self-publishing companies, and free graphic design tools, the strategies you can use to attract paying customers are as valid as a fish in the sea. Therefore, your strategy should outline your key business and customer needs and how your content efforts will address them. Stages of content marketing. There are three basic stages as we have lighted awareness, consideration, and decision. Content marketing strategy. According to HubSpot, a content marketing strategy involves a minimum of the following social media content marketing strategy, infographic content marketing strategy, blog content marketing strategy, podcast content marketing strategy, and video content marketing strategy, paid ad content marketing strategy, set smart goals, determine your KPIs, choose your content channels, decide on the, con on the type of content, set a budget, create and distribute the content, analyze and measure results. Let's dive in. Developing your content marketing strategy. Content Marketing Institute gives the following key takeaways to focus on while crafting a content marketing strategy. One, a content marketing strategy is different than a content strategy. Two, there are no universal templates for developing a strategy. Three, your strategy should outline your key business and customer needs and how your content efforts will address them. Four, document your content marketing strategy. A verbal strategy is not enough. Number five, your content goals and mission are critical to success. Internalize them or post them in your workshop. Six, refer to your strategy often and give it a periodic tune up. Where to use content marketing? You can use content marketing online, offline, and hybrids. Content marketing metrics. A customer passes through the following three stages in the journey from a stranger to a visitor to a customer awareness, consideration, and decision otherwise also referred to as attract, capture, and convert. Below are the metrics to consider at each, each stage. Attract, the attract stage. Readers, number of readers, top performing sources, page views, engagement rate, time on site, and articles viewed. Capture, newsletter signups, returning visitors, form submissions, and downloads convert monthly qualified leads generated deals influenced opportunity pipeline size of deal average order value order frequency and sales let's now jump to organizing for content in a b2b organization in b2b organization how companies organize for content marketing as opposed to India's Ultimita Group has identified the following enterprise models for governing the and the orchestration of content within organizations 
to ensure that content is created in harmony. One, content department or division. Two, cross-functional content chief. Three, executive steering committee. Four, content lead. Five, editorial board or content council. And five, content center of excellence. Sorry, six, content center of excellence. Let's take them one by one, the content marketing cycle. Simplified, summarized, this simplified and summarized a typical content marketing cycle as follows, research and insights, research, surveys, and analysis, and other forms of insight get gathering, such as Facebook insights, Google insights, goal setting, identification and prioritization of desired desired outcomes content strategy the process of planning content to achieve desired outcomes content creation the acts of creating content identified in the content strategy content curation sourcing and publishing content originating from other sources distribution publishing and marketing your content engagement actions that your audience takes with your content content marketing sales funnel a funnel is primed to generate awareness create liking and build trust as the visitor moves from the top to the bottom to engage as a customer Website visitors at the top of the funnel, that is awareness, getting to know you, no risk offer, no re registration required, contents, okay, blog articles, YouTube videos, podcasts, interviews, and audio files. Low risk offer, register with email, that is creating awareness, ebooks, templates, reports, white papers, guides, resources, all right, middle of the funnel, social media about us, testimonials, frequently asked questions, guarantees, demos, trials, <coughs> sorry, webinars, newsletters, and endorsements. Bottom of the funnel, contact us, inquire, buy now. According to CMI, that is Content Marketing Institute, know or awareness. 75% are looking for information. Like, that is under consideration. 23% are comparing. Trust, that is vision. Taking the plunge, 2% is ready to take action to become customers. Traditionally, content marketing is a top of funnel strategy. Content marketing metrics to ensure you are investing in the top level things that matter. Neil Patel, as I mentioned earlier, the founder of Oba Suggests, recommends paying attention to high level metrics such as number of readers, number of page views, top performing pages, engagement rate, time on site. All right, so having said that, let's dive to tips for various types of contents. We have already noted that there are three basic stages in the customer journey and are awareness, consideration, and decision. Each stage requires a different kind of content marketing. Email. Let's start with email. Tips for writing email content should be concise and direct. Should be compelling, focused, visually engaging, and eye-catching. Start building an email list using MailChimp, ConvertKit, Campaign Monitor, Aweba, Drip, Forento, Ontraport, Kajabi, Monza, ActiveCampaign, 
Rafi and many, many others. List building. You can create a PDF checklist, a mini course, free video or lesson from a course, a free sample, a free call of consultation, a free quote. Start building great relationships. Words, words drive engagement. Words drive engagement. Words drive customer experience. And words drive sales, growth, and profits. Know how you are going to use emails. What is the goal of your emails? That is the number one question you should ask. There are three types of emails you can send to your list in a way that supports your content marketing goals. Number one, general campaigns and newsletters. These are sent to your full list. Communication that gets, uh, gets sent to targeted segments on your list and then automated messaging. Brainstorm ideas and do keyword research, keyword research. Brainstorm topics and times. Use keyword research tools to gather results like Uber suggests. Expand and refine your list. Build a spreadsheet and prioritize terms. Outline content that hits the three keys needed. All right, notes. Use a keyword research tool to gather results. Now it's time to plug those terms into a tool like Google Keyword Planner, Moz, Keyword Tool, I.io, or any other to see what comes up. Number two, outline content that hits the three key needs. Take your top terms and outline content that will serve your goals, the user's needs, and the keyword target, targeted. This is what is called a trifecta of killer SEO-friendly content. Decide which content format or which format of content you want to produce. Are there blog posts, videos, podcasts, infographics? Each of these formats must all tell a story. Seth Gordon says there are four qualities your content needs to have. Number one, emotion. What emotion do we want people to feel? Number two, change. How are you changing people with their products or content? Does that emotion change them in a way that helps your brand? Three, a lot. Once you are changed or you have changed someone, how do you build the privilege of, of being able to tell them when you have something new for share how can you get people to tell each other notes emotion what emotion do we want people to feel change how are you changing people with their product or content does that emotion change them in a way that helps your brand repeating a lot once you are you have changed someone how do you build the privilege of being able to tell them when you have something new or repeating share how can you get people to tell each other email checklists one I mean Oracle gives the following recommendations when it comes to emails the subject line is it actionable does it elicit a sense of immediacy is it relevant to what's inside is it as brief as it can be salutation is it unique is it personalized does it use your brand voice body copy is your order clear does it have a single straightforward message? Is it concise, concrete, and specific? Is it relevant to the audience? 
finally, is it reflective of the subject line design? Is it mobile friendly? Does it stick to your brand? Is it simple and creative? Does it catch the eye with relevant GIFs or images? Conclusion. Is there a clear CTA call to action? Does this summarize the topic? Is it personalized? Live videos as content marketing. 52% of marketing professionals name videos as the type of content with the best ROI, return on investment. 82% of users recall a video ad they have viewed online in the past month. Tips for video as content marketing. Keep it short, have a plan, use hand signals to, communi to communicate to your users, use your tools, gather your resources, start with a compelling image. Don't over worry about it being perfect. Notes. If you have watched cooking recipes or DIYs, how-to videos online, you know how simple and engaging video can be to create. Present what you are doing or you are going to make, the ingredients, processes, and end result, all in 60 seconds or less. Keep it short, under 30 seconds at the most. If you can keep it under 30 seconds, you are killing it. Have a plan. Think about your ingredients or props you need or how you are going to show the steps. Use hand signals to communicate to your users. The majority of videos are watched without sound. So think of other ways to communicate what the user needs to know. Use your tools. Many, many use a hyperlapse toolbox to store your videos and a video stand, which, can, which you can create with something as simple as two stacks of books with a plank across. Place your camera on the edge of the plank and fire off your camera app. You can set a stage for where you are filming by taping it on the table. Gather your resources. Either bring them in, in one at a time or have them all laid out in your center stage. Start with a compelling image, either an impressive finished product to arouse interest or some unconventional ingredients. Don't worry about it being perfect. Yes, beginners always worry that people will laugh at them that it's not perfect. I say, don't worry about it being perfect. DIY, do it yourself videos go viral every day. If you can tell a compelling story in a short amount of time, it doesn't matter if you shot it on your iPhone or professional camera or even Android phone. Podcasting as a content marketing. Podcasting, podcasting, and podcasting right now as content marketing. To get started with audio, pick your topic or niche. Gather your tools like what I'm using right now. Find your guest. Outline your own episodes. Edit your podcast. Upload and promote Audio editing is a form of art. Learn it. I'm learning it. Blog posts as content marketing. How to build a blog post or how to write a blog post. Start with an outline at the meet. One up the competition. Write 
a great headline add an effective featured image start with an outline does your outline quickly answer what why how and where at the meets details statistics quotes images or case studies as i'm doing one up the competition i perform the competition remember 10 times versus 10 percent write a great headline there are great resources on writing headlines on copy blogger and quick sprouts add an effective featured image check out sites like onsplash pixels pixabay for better than stock photos and then use a tool like canva to add extra elements like text or icons content marketing on social media the key things you should focus on are shareability can they be shared consistency are you consistent and engagement are you engaging people are you just talking to yourself or about you conversion rate optimization cro add email sign up forms to your products to what you produce have a strong call to action improve your page speed now let's dive to tangential content tangential content here is how Casey Botticello's blogging guide on Substack summarizes tangential content tangential content tangential content is content used in marketing to tap into a broad audience by supplying information on a wide range of topics re related to your business but are not the soul of your business a blog article or social media post composed of tangential content brings exciting topics that the customers care about without being about the brand for example a travel agency published a post highlighting the best restaurants to eat in Lagos. According to Kerry Jones, writing on the moors.com blog, under the title, Tangential Content Earns More Links and Social Shares in Boring Industry, new research. Tangential campaigns earned 30% more media mentions and 77% more social shares on average than the brand focus campaigns. Casey Botticello writing in his blog on Substack under the title what is tangential content improving your content marketing strategy through your I mean through tangential content st stated that tangential content is content used in marketing to tap into a broad audience by supplying information in a wide range of topics related to your business but are not the core of your business there are four reasons you should write tangential content according to Katie Jones number one reach a wide audience and gain top of funnel awareness number two target a greater number of publishers during outreach to increase your link building and pr mention potential three create more emotional content that resonates with your audience four build a more diverse content library and not be limited to creating content around just one topic yes yet again according to Casey Botticello advantages of tangential content include help the brand 
build its reputation, improve link building and reach more people, increase audience engagement, and generate endless ideas. To identify tangential topics, Casey recommends the following. Establish your target buyer's avatar or personas. Take advantage of data analytics tools. Use mind mapping strategies. Stay updated on what is trending. Test the strategy in social media. The way to never run dry of ideas is to write on tangential content that your target audience find useful. Use tools like Facebook Insight to, to discover content your audience is giving thumbs up. It takes time for what you write to gain traction, so be patient and let the algorithms work their magic. Finally, a guide to landing your first clients if you are an independent India, you are India, just independent producer. These are guides to landing your first client. If you have not got your first client as an independent producer, maybe you are working on Fiverr, you are work, um, up work. All right, first be professional. Put your best foot forward. All right, your posts must have structure, headline, opening, closing, subhead, others. All right, guide to learning your first client. A smart blogger, smart blogger recommends the following. Develop a content framework. The easiest to start with is a list of posts. Create your first portfolio piece. Create a sample post. Go for your first client. Apply to at least 10 writing, I mean for at least 10 writing gigs on uh, Fiverr, on Upwork. Your first testimonial, get your first testimonial. Send, send the client a testimonial to approve. Write it and send to the client to approve. Do not wait for the client to write. You will not have time. Start with a, a list post. Like any other art form or any art form, online content has a structure, a structure you need to master. Each post is composed of headlines, openings, closings, and subheads, and so on. All right, create a sample post. To get your first client, you should create sample content that shows up the work you can do. Use the list, use the list post content framework you learned. I mean, as we shared in previous stages, to write a sample list post, publish it on either Medium or LinkedIn. Both are free. Apply for at least 10 writing gigs. Inside freelance marketplace like Upwork, you can apply for writing gigs. Chances are you will have to work for a really low rate for your first client. But everyone has to start somewhere. In the next stage, you will learn how to raise rates. All right? Send the client a testimonial to approve. Testimo testimonials from clients have a huge impact on your ability to win more work as well as raise your rates. So, how do you get one? Write a sentence or two about yourself and send it to the client for approval. According to John Morrow, Jonathan Morrow, the founder of Smart Blogger, the almost always say yes this is the end of this mega episode i believe the episode has given you a good idea of what content marketing is if you are starting afresh or even you are an advanced beginner get off your couch and start creating content day and night so you don't miss out in the content marketing business that is expected to hit 427 billion by the year 2027 some hope it will come by 2032 but 2027 is considering the rate 
to this growing. Then be consistent. Until the next episode. Bye for now. <laughs>